When BQ announced the Terminator toolhead a couple of months back, I was beyond excited. It looked gorgeous, had some sweet specs, and it really isn't all that often that we get a complete toolhead release that includes the hot end, extruder, and cooling all in one. I also love when companies in this space collab, so to see that they had partnered up with Bontech to include a high flow CHT nozzle was really icing on the cake. Although this is a limited release, BQ was kind enough to send over one of these for us to play around with. In this video, we will go over the specs and features of the Terminator while we take it apart to get a closer look at what it's made of. So with all that being said and without further ado, let's get right into today's video. As much as I normally don't show packaging, today we're going to make an exception. The Terminator comes in a nice graphic box that feels premium, and when you lift off the cover, you are presented with the tool head standing up in all of its glory. Seriously, I was half tempted to just call it there and place this up on display somewhere. In the box with the tool head, you get a small booklet that contains some specs, instructions, and an exploded view of the Terminator. In addition, there is a 0.4 hardened steel nozzle, some hex keys, SLS fan ducts, assorted screws, a Voron 2.4 belt clip, and a blank LED panel. There's also a separate package that has two 4010 fans, which can replace the pre-installed 3007s for added part cooling. The Terminator is constructed primarily of anodized aluminum, which doubles as both a rigid body and an added heatsink for the hot end. It has a dual gear direct drive extruder with a 7 to 1 gear ratio. There's a large grub screw on the side to adjust tension when printing with softer materials, and a quick release lever that can be flipped to release all the tension for quickly loading or unloading filament. The hot end uses a bimetal heat brake, a high temp PT100 thermistor, and a beefy 70 watt heater cartridge that allows it to reach up to 350 Celsius. The nozzle installed is a coated brass 0.4 Bontech CHT, which will help with improved flow rates. For cooling, there is a small fan behind the faceplate for the heat brake, and two installed 3007s for part cooling. The fans can slide up and down on a dovetail joint that is supposed to make it easy to adjust for different nozzle lengths. I couldn't find a very good way to clamp those fans down, and as much as I think it is a neat idea, I don't really know how often somebody is going to be swapping out nozzle lengths, at least during regular operation. I ended up removing both fans and their mounting points. I swapped these out for the included SLS printed fan ducts and the beefier 4010s that will provide better cooling and are rigid mounted. The BQ faceplate is transparent and there is an array of RGB LEDs behind it. One thing I thought was unique about this is that they also include an additional blank faceplate. If you have access to a laser, you should be able to engrave your own design into it. I just so happen to have a fiber laser here and I got a few extra plates in that I'm hoping to experiment with. There are points to attach a BL Touch, Omron Probe, or the BQ Micro Probe, which I plan on installing. For the Micro Probe, you will need to print out a small adapter. As for mounting, the Terminator is compatible with both MGN 9H and MGN 12H rails and has an included bracket. Belt location is something that's going to be very important for compatibility. My original plans were to install this on my second cube that is running an MGN 12H for the x-axis. This printer has a ton of potential and I really feel like one of the biggest things holding it back is its tool head. Unfortunately, due to the belts being above and below the linear rail and the way they are clamped in, it is not compatible with the Terminator. I was really curious as to what the inside of this tool head looked like, so I completely disassembled it. The process has you removing the front faceplate where you can see the array of RGB LEDs. Then there are two screws holding the LED frame in that need to be removed. These screws also wedge the heat brake fan in place, so it comes loose when you pull those two screws out. Then there are two screws deeper inside the main body and one on the outside that also need to be removed before you can pull the whole thing apart. The main thing I really wanted to see was the gearing, which does look awesome. The aluminum body is fairly compact and combined with the added cables and all the parts of the extruder, getting it back together was no easy task. I kept trying different strategies to get everything just back in place, but it really was a struggle. I don't normally take extruders apart very often during normal printing and operation, but I tell you that if and when something does become clogged inside of this extruder, I very much so am not looking forward to having to disassemble this again. The other part that I really struggled with was the RGB LED plate. There are three wires that I did not realize were soldered to the back of it. I don't know if the soldering just wasn't great from the factory or if I was a bit rough on it, but I did end up pulling one of the wires off when I was trying to put everything back together. 
I ended up removing all three wires, cleaning up the pads, and resoldering them in place. It's a super tight fit, and I noticed when reinstalling the plate, I have a hairline gap on top. I think it's because I used a bit more solder than what was already on there from the factory, and because of that, it's just putting a bit more pressure on everything. On top of that, the adhesive on the magnet for the faceplate came off when I removed the front cover, which I know was just not adhered well to begin with. This should be a simple fix, and the faceplate seems to stay on pretty well with just friction. My biggest complaint with the design of the Terminator really comes down to space. I understand wanting to make everything compact and don't get me wrong, it does look great, but even just a few extra millimeters in certain areas could have made it much easier to get this all back together and get all the wires routed as needed. For as much thought that has clearly gone into the design and functionality, I wish there was an easier way to access the gears inside for clearing jams. With this being a limited run, perhaps they thought focusing a bit more on the styling was going to be more important, but I would love to see something like this in BQ's permanent lineup. All the wires for the tool head are very short, and it definitely feels like they intend on you using a tool head board with this. I did order an EBB42 from Big Tree Tech, with the plan being to mount it to the extruder stepper and running the Terminator over CAN bus. The biggest thing now is going to be finding a printer that this is compatible with because my initial plans of using the second cube are no longer going to work. And that has been the BQ Terminator, a very unique 3D printer tool head that not only looks awesome but packs a ton into its little footprint. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have a better understanding of what the Terminator is and whether this is something you may want to pick up. I'm hoping to do a follow-up to this when I actually have it up and running and installed, but because this is a limited run thing, I wanted to at least get my initial thoughts out on this while it is still available. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Have you heard of the Terminator Toolhead prior? And let me know if you agree that it would be awesome for BQ to actually offer something like this in their permanent lineup. If you are interested in finding out more or picking up one of these for yourself, I will have links available in the description below. On that note, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. We make a video every single week, so there's always fresh content coming your way. And if you do want to support the channel furthermore, I'll have links down below in the description over to our Patreon where there are some really awesome rewards. Huge thank you to all of our existing Patreon supporters. I appreciate each and every one of you for allowing me to come back every single week and spend more time doing what I love, which is making content for you all to enjoy. On that note, this has been Daniel from Modbot. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace, guys.